Welcome back guys, today I'm going to try something new, I'm going to play a bit of Hearthstone, I'm going to play three matches, best out of three, you know, just, um, why not, you know, <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of arenas, don't actually have enough currency as you can see down here to actually do the arena yet, might make an arena video, it depends if you guys like it or not, um, so I'll kick it off with the Warlock, you know, probably my favourite deck, that or the Hunter. Um, and what I'll do is I'll start with the Warlock, maybe try me hunt out because I've just changed that, and then I'll randomly just pick one from there. I'm not too good with the Druid, so I might even try the Druid out. I mean, I've got a daily quest for that as well, which obviously gives you currency to unlock more stuff like packs or arena, if you've never played this game before. Um, I tend to get rid of the higher cards like that one at the beginning. Try and stick to the easier cards, you know, uh, easy cards, low cards, to get you started in the match, I guess. The reason I didn't put him down straight away, um, even though it would have been like a a minion on the board, is because it's going to heal us. So I thought if I draw a card, I can heal him next turn. Um, if he puts a card down, I could maybe use that to get myself another card, because at the start of the games, <clears throat> they might have low, they might have low health, so they might be able to, like you know, it's just a risk. Plus, I got a torn card, so I've got to look at like maybe lining up a few cards to get the board going a little bit. Around, you know, not the best player, <laughs> as you can see, my rank's not very high. I haven't played in a while. Um, I recently just got back into the game because it came out for Android phones recently. So when I'm at work, I tend to play it a lot, um, just to pass the time at me work, at me job, I guess. When I'm on me uh, break. Just waiting for the other guy to take his turn. I like to, you know, interact a little bit with the environment. <laughs> Bit sad, but you know. Um, but if you never play this game, I highly recommend it. It's totally free. You can get it on um, <clears throat> Android. You can get it on, I believe, the Apple Store. I don't have an iPhone or an iPad, but obviously um, I've got it on one of my tablets as well. I'm playing this currently on my PC at the minute, but it's totally free. Um, if you like card games, if you don't, it is actually a really good um so strategy game, I guess, card strategy game. Really addictive to get into as well. Um, so <clears throat> this card here is pretty good for warlocks, I would say, because every turn, well, was good. Basically, that card there, every turn it deals one damage yourself, but it spawns an imp. But the imp's actually a demon. And there is a lot of cards where you sacrifice a demon for more health to your hero. Um, I'll deal two damage to himself. Um, so, also this little card here <clears throat> can be a nasty little card as well. Because it's in a thing called stealth, if you haven't played this before. It can't actually be targeted by player spells, minions, anything like that. But each turn, what it tends to do is give one health to a random card on your side, like one of your minions. So the whole point of the game is, as you can see, the hero itself has actually health. And your point is to obviously try and kill, obviously get rid of the health. Or, like, a lot of the time you can get his cards down. Every time the cards are gone, more damage will be done to the hero, vice versa sort of thing. Um, these cards here, which the shield run, are actually torn cards. They're sort of like you've got to break through that defense before you can actually hurt the um, the hero. There, there's the cards I'm about for. Destroy a demon, heal five health. So things like this, where it has under the card demon, near the attack and defense, uh, life of the minion, shall I say, is the card I was on about. Um, I know it's a bit of a waste, but I need to get a minion on the board to get rid of this silly owl. Um, 
as you can see I don't currently have a torn card so if he choose to he could obviously directly hit my hero <clears throat> um, I know I'm kind of like probably describing things people already know it's for the people that you know don't haven't played it and I'm trying to get them into the game maybe um, each hero has its own sort of ability which is this his is obviously give us a hero one defense which is the shield as well as attack which when he attacks he loses it but he gets to keep the shield mine is actually a weird one it damages us but lets us draw a card which to some people that sounds a bit stupid um, right I'm just thinking uh, but actually it's pretty good if you have a lot of cards that heal you back up yeah, trying to think. Take a gamble. Right, um. If you're wondering also, um, why some of my cards are gold or some of his are gold, what it is is when you play a match, which you'll see afterwards. Your actual class you're using will actually level. The more levels you do, sometimes you get gold cards, sometimes you get gold cards through crafting cards in the game, or even getting them in packs of cards. So it's more or less um, the look of the draw, I guess, with things like that. Uh, right, this card's actually really powerful as well. It'll destroy a card and heal us. You tend to keep that for the bigger cards, like which is the one I've just destroyed comes in really helpful. As you can see he's obviously got a lot more health. I <clears throat> don't have as much health because I keep damaging himself to get more cards but as you can see I've got a lot of cards that are rather defensive or heals back up. And that's basically the way I've, I've sort of built the strategy, uh, strategy to this deck. <clears throat> uh, but the, prob the big problem with Druid cards is I find when I play with the druid, it's end game. So a lot of the time, when he gets more mana crystals, is these things down here, which he used to sort of spawn the cards. Which you can see in the top left of the card, the blue diamond thing. It says it costs one, costs another, and costs one. And what it'll do is it'll take up all these little mana crystals you have each turn, but these also replenish each turn. So as you can see there. So druids at end game tend to have a lot of cards where they can get really strong things out and really hard to beat at end game. Um which can be it can be a total nightmare at times. So the reason I saw him egging on this uh, mob here I'll actually put a spell on them, which you can read under the bottom saying corruption. Uh, at, the at the start of like the next player's turn, why not? Not the start, the end, shall I say. It'll actually dis it'll destroy that card. The reason I'm using it on such a low card is this card here, the more mobs that die, minions, shall I say, be it on his side or my side, this actually gets stronger, which you'll see now, plus five. Now, if you used to keep healing that up or do something like to keep it alive, that could be a nightmare as well because it'll just keep multiplying over and over and over. So it gets really strong in the end. Uh, best to sort of take things like that out really quick. Um, it'd be a bit of a weird situation because I haven't actually got any decent cards at the minute to actually sort of take out a lot of these mobs. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, I was actually hoping this little guy was going to buff me me taunt, but it wouldn't make a difference anyway because you could kill him. But as you can see, big, big heal cards. Druid's end game are a nightmare so I tend to think to sort of burn them down quick in a match if we can. I'm probably, I've got a feeling I might lose this match. I'm not getting very good hands or I ain't uh, concentrating as well but I am actually trying to explain how to 
play the game a little bit to you. Uh, if you've never played it before. Right. Seems like a waste, but I'm going to do it. Um, the card I've just currently got is going to deal one damage. Uh, it's got a battle cry in it, which means when you spawn it, it'll do, it'll activate that. So this has a battle cry. So what it's going to do is damage one everything on the board, even my minion. So what I what I'm going to do is obviously destroy that minion, which seems a bit weird to do. And I am going to actually sacrifice it to put this down. Now, as you can see, these have got two life each. I've got a card here that will destroy anything with two. And hopefully I can sort of control the board a little bit better now. Obviously, this is a useless card. Can't really do much with that. That isn't going to do anything unless I can buff it somehow. This here, um, like it hasn't got no attack, but it lets us spawn me minions uh, in my hand a lot cheaper. So... He's put sort of put in the situation now. He has to physically attack us to get that down, which he's doing really well. Just check how many cards he's got 12, 10, right? So basically, in 10 moves or less, I've got to sort of get him down, or I'm going to start losing some major dam uh, damage, life, damaging to me, life, I guess. <laughs> um, so I really need to start stepping it up a little bit now. This card here is actually a new card, never used it. Whenever your hero takes damage, you gain life. So, the good thing with this is, I can actually buff it by damaging myself. Brilliant. I'd rather use that card to, obviously, this card. Because it does more life. So, the more damage, the more that goes up. So, what I really want to be doing now is, hopefully get some cards that heal us if I haven't used them all already. Start damaging himself, get some damage on that, which then I'll obviously inflict some damage to the druid. But we'll see. I've got a feeling I'm going to lose. I think I've messed this game up really badly, if I'm going to be honest. Um, that card's actually a really good card. I don't really want to use it. Um, I don't really want to use that. So let's buff this up. Let's take the risk. Um, Like I say, guys, I, th I do prefer the Warlock, but I ain't, I'm not playing very well at the minute, or it's just the look of the draw of the hand. There's another heal, full health again. Um, like I say, you'll be knowing I'm, I'm getting more cards now. So, you can see he's going for the approach of trying to kill us off quickly. Good thing with this card is I've just got... I can knock him to 15 health. Or can heal myself up, which I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take the risk. Trying the I'm hoping to kill him off. I think I can. Uh that'll be ten, fourteen. Right. Um yes, that's that's a good card to get. So I can get myself healed back up. Try and get some damage on him. Hopefully. If he hasn't got anything that can do 9 damage, or a few cards that can do 9 damage, I might be able to actually win this. I played really risky this match, and it seems like he's going for a strategy. He could be desperate, he could be drawing cards in the hopes he gets something that's going to change the board, but... Like I say, this card's brand new. Totally digging it, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, I don't actually know what he's actually going for here. I don't know if he's just trying to prolong the fight. But if he actually finds a way to kill us, which he, I don't think he has, I think he's just gonna blow himself up in a minute. Or he's just gonna let me kill him. Um, well, play it to him, but. Uh, I actually thought I was going to lose that, guys. But, like I say, if you've never played Hearthstone 4, really good game, as you see. Um, we'll go with the Hunt this time. Obviously, because I've got new cards. The last match, if I can um, do well, I might use the Druid, I might not. 
It's the only reason I, I'm using the jerseys. I'm not very good at it. I don't have very good cards for it. Um, and I've, I have actually got a lot of quests with the druid, I believe. Which I get is more um, cash in, in game. To unlock maybe arena if you want to watch us do that. I'll keep the points for it. Or. Um, sorry, I'm just reading the cards. Or, am I, you know, I don't know, I'm, I, might, I might just buy some packs and open them for you guys to watch if, if you want to see that. I mean, just, just you know, com comment below, let, you know, let, let us know what you want us to play or what he wants to do. Um, so, I know what you guys are in now. I'm just, like I say, I make these videos purely for fun. For all gamers, hopefully um, meet a few gamers to play games with, you know. So, in this game, I forgot to describe this before, in this game, I believe going second sometimes can be a little bit of an advantage. Uh, because you get this card here, it gives you another man crystal. Which you can see, I've managed to get two minions out because of that one crystal. If in later game, you've got like, say, a card that's, say this, at the beginning, you want to get this out really quick. I could have, because I went second. Or, you know, late game, you, you run another one of mana crystal, you have one less where they maybe get something out powerful. You know, it always helps just to go maybe second, which sounds weird. And you get an extra card. Uh, they tend to get three cards plus a draw one. You get four plus you get a draw one, so it's weird. It's like you get a bit of an advantage. This is currently one of the new um, cards I, I got when I was at work. I saw obviously swapped it a bit, not too sure how good it is we'll take it into play right, I don't actually remember putting this did I just miss something there? right, I actually don't remember putting this card in right, so this card, I don't actually remember putting it in my deck oh man, I'm missing something here All oh, right, my spider has some the random beast. My bad. Yeah, I was gonna say I've never seen that card in my life. Um, not even in game. <laughs> so I didn't actually know what that was. So I just put it down because it said something about you know a bad guy put a random pirate from your deck in your hand, but I don't actually have a pirate. It's just testing the waters. See what sort of happened. I love the noise of that card. Right. And I think I'll leave that there. The reason I'm going to attack and sacrifice my parrot, I've actually got a strategy sort of built up. Um, I'm thinking maybe try to destroy a random one, which could be this one. And then sort of take the parrot out with this. But I've got a feeling I'm going to end up hitting this with it. With uh, destroy a random minion. Or that's gonna happen. <laughs> like I say, right, hunter decks. I've got this really weird build where it's sort of <clears throat> I call it aggressive decks, where they build up a lot of low-level minions, which all buff each other, uh, and they get they get they get a lot on the board, which you can see. And it's very fast paced, very aggressive, in your face, and I, I like I like that with the hunters. But if you ever play them on, they're a bloody nightmare. <laughs> so <laughs> um uh, three or three damage, that's not enough. Right, so we're gonna take the risk. See, like I said, it would destroy that, my luck. So I'll describe the hunter power if you've never played before. It's um it's actually called Steady Shot. What it does is it deals two damage to their hero. So no matter if you have a tank card up, anything like that, it'll always hit the hero. Which is a good thing, but a bad thing because you can't actually control the arrows. If you can control the arrows, it'd be a bit overpowered. So it was my turn. But obviously the downfalls, you can hit the hero, but at the same time you can't control the arrows. Now a mage has a similar thing, which is a fireball. 
where they can actually hit opponents on the board. They can choose where they want the fireball to go, but it only does one damage, which is, you know, it can be a good or bad thing. Ah, there's his cards. I hate this card as well. It charges straight away. Um, yeah, so I, I am actually doing really bad here, and I'm actually pretty good with the hunter normally. I'm getting all these high end cards, but nothing that's going to sort of um, destroy these cards. I've got this card which will deal 3, but he's still going to deal 5 to us. But I've really just got to start getting some minions on the board. They're going to do 10, he's going to shoot 0 with 2, that would be me dead. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit forced into destroying that card if I'm going to be honest. So potentially straight away he can do 5 damage. 2 damage, 7, straight off the bat. Um, I was hoping I was going to get a torn card. This guy here, um, when enraged, basically that means if he takes any damage, it kicks in his ability. Wind Fury, which lets you attack twice. Now, this is perfect. This, this is the sort of torn card I was after. And what this has on it is Divine Shield, which is, you can see a little glowing bubble around it. They've actually got to damage that bubble before they can damage the tank. I'm sort of hoping um, I can maybe survive another round. I could really do with a healing card, maybe, or something like a something just like another taunt, maybe just to get us back into the game. Like I say, hunt is really aggressive, straight in your face, straight straight down, knocking your life down. There's no there is strategy, obviously, but it's very aggressive decks. Um, Hunter, Hunter and Warlock tend to be like my favorite gameplay styles. So I'm, I'm guessing he's going to do five toes, two from that. That's five, obviously. This little thing's a nightmare as well. Every card is a nightmare. Really. Where does it buffs all beasts? Which all Hunter cards are beasts, so. Basically now, I, I think I've lost, definitely lost. <laughs> so what this is above here is a secret. I've just got one here, which I can show you guys. Um, and when your minions attack, it spawns snakes. Now, I put it down, that's where secret activates. His could be totally different. No matter what I do, he's going to hit us with his deadly shot next turn. Can't defend against us. It's a total loss, so I'll show you this little card out. This guy here is like a double-edged sword. He can spawn an invention, which he has done. Um, destroys the minion, draws three cards. It can be any invention. It could be one where it hurts, damages my side of the board, could be damaging his side, but it could be anything. Obviously this time around I got a good invention. This guy here, when this game was in beta, what it actually was, um, if you bought some packs of cards off the store with real money, um, like just just to try the store out, uh, you actually got him as a like a present sort of thing, like for, as a thank you. Um, I've actually lost, so you know, well played. Um, he did actually beat us there. I got a lot of high end cards, which you see. Couldn't really do much with it. Burned us down with a lot of low level cards, and that's the hunter deck basically in a nutshell. Full on aggressive, just. Slams you, you know, can't do anything with it. So, this time round, I'll have a little think of what I feel like playing. Might do something that's me challenge, maybe, I don't know. I'll have a quick check of our quests before I jump straight back in. Gonna probably lose the next one. Um, as you can see, my druids I've played a little bit. Priest, Rogue, Rogue I don't like. Uh, Warrior I'm not a fan of much either. So I've got a few Rogue Warriors, Paladin Priests, Rogue Warrior. Um, the Rogue Warrior ones I'll probably do in my own time because I have actually got to actually sort their decks out. So we've got a Paladin Priest. Um, I think I'll try my Priest. I haven't played him in a while. Used to like it. 
uh, a lot of the cards that were event were actually out for this deck actually got a nerf like what they were too overpowered so they have to obviously increase the mana <clears throat> the mana crystal usage like so if a card costs five they would make it seven you know they had to actually somehow you know sort of stabilize it back down because it was a little bit overpowered uh, you know, I still think some of the spells are a bit overpowered, but the thing oh I'm actually playing a priest the thing with priests is they like druids. <clears throat> like druids and paladins, their playstyle is sort of long term game. If you can survive the long term, lots of, you know, healing spells, keep in the game. They can actually be really powerful. Right. I'm not actually gonna do it. I could I could have used that. The coin got me some of them, like obviously my crystal done five damage to the, you know, uh, the hero. What I'm waiting now for is I'm thinking I might use this, and the reason for that is plain and simple. If I can get a tank out with it, <clears throat> it's the card where. Whenever a minion dies against one attack, it can be really overpowered in this deck. I mean, I should maybe not have used it this soon in, in case they do actually attack us. I'm going to hope I can get a card that might uh, maybe damage some of their minions to try and build some of its attack. He's ignoring it at the minute, which chances are I probably would have done, if I want to be honest. Right, I ain't getting very good cards, so what I'll do is I'll attack, get a buff, heal it back up, jobs are good, and we'll continue that again. Now, <clears throat> if I get this sort of out at lower level, the thing with it is, I can get a lot of his like, lower minions killed, and buff it up a little bit, till I actually work out getting a tank out to protect it. Or even, there, or even there's a spell, in, shall I say, in the priests that increases its life. So, you know, all right, he's, got, he's, he's obviously going to kill it. He sees what I'm doing. Um, have actually got if it, yeah, right. So to me, I'm hoping if there isn't any cards I can use, uh, heal it back up, damage again, buffer if there is another card. Brilliant. It's a, I got a taunt card. Um, I ain't gonna do anything because I don't want to risk killing it. I could have killed his taunt card, but yeah, nah. The, the thing with this is it's got an enrage as well. It increases its attack. So if I attack my tank with his tank, I could actually buff him. Not buff him. Heal him. But and you'll be buffed with an extra three attack. So. That's something to look into, but obviously his key's starting to give his taunt and all that, so ah oh, well he sounds so it's not worth it anymore. Should have maybe took out his tank, didn't really think he would pull something out straight away. That's the beauty of this game. Any you know, you could be losing, you could be winning, and you just pull it back dead easy. <laughs> There, there's a good card. If you keep buffing its life, you it, it make its attack the same, like this one. Uh, I'll show you is a pretty cool card. This card here I got from a BlizzCon ticket. Another double-edged sword sort of card. What it does is it gives a random power cord card, to which I got the four damage one. He could have got anything. He's probably checking his hand out now, wondering what it is. But I'll take out this healing card because what happens is every time he heals one of his minions, he can draw a card. Which doesn't sound that impressive, but the more cards you can get in your hand, the more strategies you can build. So we'll, we'll, we'll take it out. We'll see, you know. So, so far, 1-1, one, one, lost 1. And I've never played my priest for a while, so I'm going to go on a... On a, uh, a prediction that I'm probably gonna lose again. So he got the same power core as me, you know, <clears throat> double edged sword like, again. 
actually got rid of one of my good cards. Oh, brilliant. That's a pretty good card. Get rid of his tank, get rid of that card. Don't like that card too much. As you can see, straight back in the game again. Hopefully, next match I can get me a taunt card out. This is actually probably my favourite taunt card because of the Divine Shield aspect of it. So hopefully if I can get the one that buffs its life, like by double that's 10. Use this card, make it have 10, 10 damage, 10 life. You know, could do some serious damage. This card here is pretty good, but the more health it loses, the more damage it loses. So we'll go with it this one and we'll ignore that card for now which might not be the thing is I don't like to just do two damage to their hero because obviously the priest's healing thing where priest's ability is healing does two healing damage so obviously <clears throat> he can heal himself back up the two damage actually physically done to him or as you can see, you destroy a card straight away and it's, you know, pretty good. I should really have healed that up, doing more damage, but hey ho, let's try and get some damage on him when the board's open. A lot of people are probably wondering why I haven't used that card with this, so it has 5 attack, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it risky and hope I get the one that increases its life. This guy's a new card. End your card. Reduce the cost of the cards in your hand by one. Pretty good card. <clears throat> Actually, really good card. But uh, all his cards are going to cost one less now. He's actually a new card, I believe. I've never seen him before. So we'll get rid of that. We'll draw ourselves a card. We'll get rid of him. The spell card. So we're actually going to find out what sort of card he's got in his hand because this here, it's a copy of one of his cards in my hand. So <clears throat> he actually has this in his hand. So I'm expecting him to put this down next match, which uh, I've never seen before. Place so you're here with Rag Ross, the Fire Lord, which I've never seen that before. So. I'm going to expect he's going to put that down now. Because if I've got 9 crystals, he's got 10 now. So he's obviously going to play the big game now. See? Never seen this card before. Not 100% sure what will happen if I kill it. But it says it spawns Ragnaros, which is a very nasty card. So. If I can think of a way, so I can do a potential of four, five, six. I could heal them up. I silence this mini because I don't want Ragnaros coming out. Uh, I put a torn card down to keep myself alive. I put that down. I'm gonna. Heal him up. Bit of a risk, but I'm not gonna actually kill his minion. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go the approach of hopefully damaging him before he kills me. <laughs> uh, I got really lucky with the silence card. Yeah, he already knows he's been beat. So what he's done is uh, he's withdrawn and killed himself. Got pretty lucky there with the <clears throat> the whole card thing. Silence card, sorry. Um if you like this video, I'm not like I say I'm not the best 
uh, gamer or YouTuber. I do it purely for fun. If you liked what you've seen, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, let us know. Um, if you would like a game on this, even just let us know and I'll let you know me real ID so I can give you a game. Uh, thanks for watching again. Thanks for all the support. I'm going to try and probably release a few more videos um, a bit like this or other games. Try and find out what people want to watch. Thanks again.